Yesterday, Dave Castro put out a weekend review. Um, did you watch that yet? I watched that, and then I watched three quarters of your review of it. And, and what, what what do you think? What do you think? Um, what do you, do you, I mean, people were telling me that it was gnarly. I didn't think it was too gnarly. I got three text messages about it, not from the group chat. Just and usually when that happens, I'm like ready to, like kind of like you were saying, right? You're expecting to be gnarly, and then I'm listening to it, and it's like, what do you expect him to say? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I listened to it. I kind of shared my two cents worth, which was. I don't know how it is that he can always say that he never watches any content, specifically my own, and then go into what my tone is. Change your tone, change your tone, change your tone. I'm like, well, what is it? How do you know? You don't. You can't if you don't watch any of it. So there's two truths. You're lying and you do watch it or you don't watch it and someone's telling you what my tone is. Okay. That's... And that's what I said. I mean, so, someone's telling him something because it's getting on his radar. And at which rate? I mean, like, you just right? And people talk feet. about videos. I don't even mean that in a bad way. People talk about videos. I tell people about your videos all the time. Right. I don't talk about stuff that I, I – I try not to talk about stuff that I haven't done due justice to, due, due diligence to. Okay. And it's um, weird that he's, he was, but I also just think he's standing up for people around him. He's the leader. He, he, he's taking charge. People are saying he's like woke. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. He's just, uh, imagine what we, if you had a whole bunch of people. Like, imagine if people were talking shit about uh, the locker room group chat. You, you kind of go to war for him. I go to war. Yeah, for sure. For so, sure. I mean, hey, when they fired Dave, I went to war. It, I, I went completely fucking ballistic. That's a, that's as hard as I can go. So. Um, so I didn't, I just didn't, I thought it was pretty mellow. I thought it was like, Hey, if you guys are assholes to us, I, by the way, I, I, the whole time I thought he was just talking to mayhem. I thought it was interesting that he used your name and, and what's even more interesting. Um, he you used your Batman name quote is right. Say that again. The, the, the Batman quote from the dark Knight is like, send the dogs after me because you know, I can take it. Oh, He's interesting. My name because he figures I don't care. And I don't, I like, I sat there watching it and I'm like, yeah whatever and also i've never had behind the scenes access I'm like, right so he couldn't it. have been talking about you i've never wanted it i've never asked for it like he he had to have been talking about either obviously me craig ritchie uh heber marsden hwpo or or um the mayhem guys but he's obviously talking about the mayhem guys because the mayhem guys put out that podcast and that reel and that was that got so much uh, attention but uh, so so you don't feel any or do you feel any a sense to need to retaliate no not necessarily no no I, not I, I also don't think i was talking shit <coughs> like he kept on saying like stop talking shit about crossfit and i go well i don't think that you would even think that i was doing that you would just say all right de Kuhn said crossfit is dangerous is it true st currently? I don't know. I haven't made a piece since the day you hired him on the coons. Right. But at that point, it was the truth. He said it was dangerous, and that's not talking shit. Uh, looking at people's depth and extensions and, and his own mess up at the announcement. Maybe it wasn't his. Maybe it was Bosman's. But somebody was on the floor not telling the athletes to turn around. It's their own rule. And that's not talking shit. I don't right, talk, right. I, I, maybe my tone is like this. As I'm making right. YouTube videos, but like, dude. Hey, what about um? Did you see the Mayhem video, the podcast? I did. What did you think about that? Do you think that if you ran um, CrossFit and the CrossFit Games, and people use that tone or that talk? Are you talking about uh, was or, Scott or, or, Vanderspil, Yeah. Remember they kind of turn the camera at him and he's talking. Yeah. They start yeah. off the video with him. Yeah. Um, the most damning thing is when he says, "I mean, if if I if I put myself in." Dave shoes is when they said basically they do they they've they've been fucking up for so long and they're not fixing it. And like if you're if you're Dave, are you like okay? Well, I mean, do you think that that's too harsh? I'm amazed that he even hears that stuff. Who Dave? Dave, right? Yeah, I mean, probably a lot of people told him. Probably, I'm guessing. Oh, I, I, I would always wonder what. And and they made it a real. And they made it a real. Once you make something a real, you're like you're telling the world to look at it. It's called Milano Tin Two, and I've been using it from CF Peptides for about two and a half months now. So if I look darker, 
That's why. Does Hiller <laughs> like fake tan or? I used to fake tan and I stopped because Alexis would stop sleeping with me. <laughs> it's good that, that, that's, only, that's only half true. If you don't stop uh, taking fake tan, uh, I'm not going to bone you anymore. Melanotan from CA Peptides. Use code word Hiller. There, there's hey, truth um, everything, right? why is CrossFit so soft when they get criticism? Any sport that made it uh, gets criticism. Here's the thing. It's criticism from people, though, that want also access from CrossFit, right? It's not I, – I, I think that there's – I think that there's a fine – I think that there's it, a fine line. For the access, though, right? Isn't that what happens when you're a sponsor? Was not Mayhem like a partner of the games? They did. They did pay for that access, and it, it it was a. I I don't think CrossFit's being soft and not taking criticism. I think all those people who were back there have criticized CrossFit at a pretty high level. I have probably Craig, maybe. maybe Craig, Craig. Uh, he said CrossFit is dead. He did. He also said that he lost money going to the games this year. Well, that was same, same thing, same, same line. I of just, thought. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. Heber and Mars didn't play it pretty um, straight. They got, the, you know, they do the the Pee Wee Herman bit. There's not a lot of room for them to be negative, um, or or critical. But I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. And, and, he, and here's the and yeah i don't know yeah i didn't really hear anything too bad about the mayhem video but in the past i think that they've done stuff like that as well and it kind of comes out of left field from them right here the the good thing is is that obviously dave and rich have a really long relationship and it can and they can get on the phone and they can talk and they've had their ups and downs and uh i have yeah, to read so, the mayhem video to give that full justice or were you surprised this morning when you woke up and you saw that um, the uh, yes, you were yeah. It, I mean, especially coming off the back of yesterday of Dave's show yesterday. Do you think Dave told them to post that? You think that they're that the right hand knows what the left hand's doing? Do you think that someone saw that and go, <laughs> "There's a different meaning to what Dave's saying here." Dave Dave chooses the messages he pulls up on the show, doesn't he? Yeah, he there's didn't. Hundreds, yeah, the, hundreds of comments. Do you think that there's any purpose to the comments chosen? Yeah, exactly. I think he wants to face the hardest ones like head on. He wants to show yeah. that he's not afraid. Hey, I love the week in review. I think it's great. I, I think uh, it's something that everyone's wanted in CrossFit for a long time. I had questions answered like that from somebody who knows. I don't know. I don't think he talked to anybody. You don't think he? You don't think after the sh he made that show, he's like, okay, go ahead and collab with Hiller. You think just? I mean, the only the only possibility there would be, he says he hasn't watched the video with Haley Adams, and then he's mm -hmm. like, well, maybe I should go watch it. And he turns it on, and then he turns to his, he goes, hey, uh, what the hell? Why aren't we posting this? <laughs> okay, this is great. I mean, maybe that's something that happened. Someone go ask Dave in the comments. Hey, that was interesting. And and the and the funny part was, and I talked about it in the weekend review yesterday, and you and I talked about it last night on the phone. It is we can't be stupid when he's saying, Hey, why would we repost his shit? Although I did hear it was good. I mean, at that point, he is reposting it. He's reposting it in the weekend review. By saying, Hey, it's good. Yeah, hey, I heard it's good. I mean, the, the whole point of reposting. Yeah, thank you, Caleb. Uh, hey, listen, the whole thing about reposting is giving something attention. That's the only reason why you want it reposted, so it gets more traction. Well, that's what he did. He talked uh, about uh, it and gave it more traction. And so he's not stupid. Interesting. Did he do a uh, guy? Go ahead. Video? Go ahead. What were you going to no, say? No, no, no. I, I just, it looks like he deleted my comment on his video. No, he doesn't know how to do that. He doesn't know how to do that. I know, but it's not on there. From his, uh, on his YouTube page? Yeah, man. Guys, Dave had a deck of cards. Poker is being played. Uh, he loves you guys. Tone matters. Uh, oh, that's, that's funny. All right, look at this. I, I, don't, I don't see an Andrew Hiller comment on this page. I know for a fact he doesn't know how to erase stuff, and he doesn't have anyone helping him. I'm Okay, I'm just saying. I got eyeballs, and so do you. 
So there's something going on on YouTube. I, I know, know, but some, but sometimes that shit happens on, on YouTube. I see it online. You do? Oh, you okay. do? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Sometimes That's that shit happens on YouTube. Okay. The poker thing is an interesting observation. There it is. Oh, so you're saying you watch my videos. If not, I'd be curious how you know about my tone. After all, you've stayed quiet a bit in the past that you do not consume any of my content. Yeah. Some people go at him in there. Again, I figure he can take it. Hey, the poker thing is fair an interesting observation. I like that. That is Chef very Hatcher. interesting, right? He's playing poker. Oh, by the way, on the Heat One app, uh, I just saw the results. Uh, right now, Will Brandsetter's winning. Holy shit. Shut up. And Tyler Watkins is in second. Yep. That's an expert analyst right there. Brandsetter. Expert analyst. Yep. Will Brandsetter. Expert in the space. Better than most. Uh, Heat One. Hey, he also promoted the Heat One app by saying he didn't know what it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's going to go look it up on the App Store now. Uh, Dave posted that comment from Hiller in his stories. Yeah, Dave, Dave's having fun. I'm in 57th on Heat One. That's okay. All right. I got, I really got nothing else. I just wanted to hear you talk. I want to talk to Colton. I want to hear a little bit about Haley. You don't seem riled up about anything. I don't get riled up about much. All right. I try You're to stay offended. plus or minus one. You're not offended. No. You're not worried if they let you go, if they give you access to the games or not. I'm, I'll make videos either way. Right. 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 It'll, and honestly, it's much easier to make videos like right here. Right. It, <laughs> it, it's uh, got to go down there and. Like the Haley thing, I gotta pay my way to get there. It's cheaper, and I, I probably profit sitting here, and I and I lose like I lose money going out there. Right, right. Mm -hmm. There you just you're just eating your Costco uh, ground beef, and um, mm -hmm. just have to pay to, to have your computer on. I make two videos a day here. I can probably I'll make money on those two videos a day over five days. It's ten videos. Let's say it's CrossFit Games weekend. They make 150 bucks a video by ten. Make a thousand bucks and set, or uh, be down three thousand for travel and stay. 